If I'm the first person to ever tell you this, I want you to let me know in the comments. Congratulations for starting your online business. I know it's very difficult to find support for your vision and your dream, especially when you decide to take control of your own destiny and generate the income you believe your skills are worth. Many online business owners look to Facebook as a way to market their businesses, find customers and clients, and generate that income. So in this video, I wanna share with you something that will absolutely destroy your online business if you do it, and that is turning on Facebook professional mode. If you look at my channel, you will see that I mentioned Facebook professional mode a lot but Facebook professional mode is meant for a certain type of person looking to earn a certain level of income that is not necessarily congruent with a small business owners we're happy to get the kind of money that jingles but we'd rather get the kind that folds. And so before you turn on Facebook professional mode, please consider the things I say in this video. And if you've already turned it on, you may want to think about turning it off. Depending on how you were first introduced to the idea of starting your online business, you may have high hopes of making easy money, or you may have a measured and tempered understanding that it's just like any other business, but the fulfillment has a little less friction because some things you can do completely over the internet. So if you're in the first category and you thought that starting an online business business was going to be a quick and easy way to get rich, then I'm probably about to lose you right here because there are definitely some challenges to starting and growing an online business. The first is actually finding a market product fit because a lot of times we have ideas for online businesses. We watch YouTube videos about them, but they don't necessarily match up with the market that we try to serve or we find it difficult to find the market that will actually need or that's actually wanting this service. Another challenge of starting an online business is that you have to learn financial management so that you can balance your books on a monthly or weekly basis and keep your finances in order so that your business can stay afloat. And one day when you begin to build a team, you will have the resources necessary to pay them well for helping you achieve your dream. Another challenge of starting an online business is choosing the right business model. Is it going to be done for you, done with you, or is it going to be a done by you service? And in some cases you have the logistics of packaging and shipping product as well as handling customer support and over delivering an exceptional customer experience. And let's not even talk about the competition because you have to analyze them and you have to compete in the market. Yes, business owners can collaborate, but at the end of the day, that is still your competitor. And if you want to win, you have to beat them. You're not the only person who's doing what you're doing, who has your level of hunger and your skill level. There there's somebody out there right now who has the same number of subscribers as me, who started their YouTube channel when I started mine, who has the same level of skills and the same level of hunger. And if I want YouTube to push my videos and my content over theirs, then I have to work harder than them. It's just that simple. And you're gonna have to work harder in your online business than whoever your competitors are in your industry. It doesn't matter whether you're a realtor, an insurance agent, an online clothing brand, or any other business you may be responsible for running. You're going to need to have persistence and adaptability to deal with shifting and changing markets. You're going to desperately need financial discipline and a goal-oriented mindset for financial management. You're going to need strategic thinking and creativity to select the right business model or create a new business model no one's doing right now. And you're also going to need analytics analytical and problem solving skills to deal with your competitors who are trying to steal your customers. When you think about all of that, in light of what I'm about to tell you, Facebook professional mode will actually do to your abilities to market your business on Facebook. I am positive that you're going to come to the same conclusion that I did. Turn off Facebook professional mode if you're using that profile to market your business. Facebook professional mode was created primarily for small business owners, but since they said that all of their marketing has been geared towards content creators. And and not just any type of content creators, content creators who specifically want to earn money from the content they create. They don't necessarily have an online business or any other side hustle. They just want to create a post and get paid. And sometimes these content creators have jobs, part-time or full-time, but you also own an online business and you're hoping to break away from that. Seeing that Facebook professional mode is geared towards content creators, Facebook has installed several different monetization tools 
for content creators. Stars, which are like digital pennies, ads on reels, where Facebook shows ads on content creators reels and gives them a share of the ad revenue, subscriptions, and several other tools. Now, if you're a small business owner, you may think that sounds great, Corey. Why wouldn't I want to be a part of that? Well, number one, when you turn on Facebook professional mode, you have to meet the eligibility requirements for those particular monetization tools. And because Facebook knows that your content is counting towards those tools, they automatically limit your reach, your discoverability, and everything else because they want you to work to be seen and noticed. And with the current pay rate of these monetization tools, and in the vast majority of cases, turning on Facebook professional mode, becoming distracted by the allure of earning income for content you post while marketing your business will ultimately turn you into Facebook's employee, where you spend the majority of your time creating content in hopes of Facebook paying you for it when you could be creating content that brings in customers and clients to your online business that spend real money with you at far higher rates than Facebook ever will pay you. There are content creators right now who are making pretty good money, but they do not have an online business behind their content, and so they are leaving so much money on the table. But when you look at the big picture, you don't need to get paid for your content. You only need to get paid for your customers and clients that you serve through your business because your business is your best bet for earning an income doing what you love. Not Facebook, not YouTube, not Instagram, not TikTok, not Twitter, definitely not Clapper. In their most recent update, Facebook has completely gamified Facebook professional mode. Now when you go inside of your professional dashboard, they have different levels you can complete. They have badges you can earn by creating certain pieces of content and posting so many times. And this is a huge reason why you don't wanna turn on Facebook professional mode if you're using that profile to market your business. Gamification has one goal and one goal only. It's to keep your attention, to keep you engaged. I rarely play Warzone with the fellas anymore because number one, at the end of almost every match, when it's time for us to get off, somebody's going to say, let's go one more time, one more time, one more time. And before long, it's one or 2 a.m. in the morning. And if you're an entrepreneur who's running an online business, you can't stay up till one or two in the morning entertaining yourself when you have pressing matters you need to tend to. Number two, the reason we stayed on that long was because the game is so engaging and addictive. Now, Facebook is implementing these features into their platform because they want you to become addicted to hitting these markers that they've set out inside of the application. And if you fall into that mental trap, it's going to ruin your productivity for your business, but it's going to boost your productivity for Facebook's business. Because now you're going to be thinking about creating reels and writing posts and doing all of these things to hit these monetization goals when what you should focus on is your own online business and harnessing all of that energy all of that focus, all of that creativity into building your own products, into building your own platform, into servicing people and over delivering people and promoting your own personal brand. Instead of investing your time, your energy and your creativity into making their platform better. So if you're a small business owner, do not turn on Facebook professional mode because it's going to completely destroy your focus and productivity. But if you're a content creator and you simply want to get paid to post content, then watch this video here.